Okay, so I guess I need to say good morning from the farm. I haven't started a vlog with good morning in so long. But I'm sitting with my down jacket on because it's it's pretty cold. Marcus said he uh, heard rats last night and didn't sleep that well. <laughs> I didn't hear him though. I fell asleep immediately. How are you doing in there? Are you making coffee? Yeah. Okay. I'll come in when it's done because it's so cold in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's really nice and peaceful to be out on the countryside and just be like traveling again, vlogging again. Cause I've been stuck, like all of you as well, been stuck in my apartment for the last two, three months. So back to, uh, back to ordinary life. This is my mug. <laughs> this is Marcus's <laughs> mug. The world's best mom. It's so nice that I like, time in the morning where you do like nothing, just drink coffee. That's what I like about not having like a normal job. I don't have to rush to work. I can like drink coffee, collect myself and then start the day. We have so much climbing stuff with us today because I didn't really know what climbing we would be doing. So I brought like a helmet, shoes, obviously two pairs. I brought a Jumar for you in case you have to do some Jumaring. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, so this is for trad climbing, traditional climbing. I don't think we're gonna do that, but I didn't really know because Ryan told me on the phone that there are some trad routes here and it would actually be cool to do that. And yeah, obviously, normal draws, rope. You need the static rope for filming. This is a very short static rope. And also, I think even the bouldering we're doing today, we need uh, the static rope to film with. I think one of the benefits of having like your own climbing wall uh, is that you can warm up before going outside climbing. Because when you're outside climbing, it's it's usually harder to warm up. So I think we should go back into the bouldering wall, warm up a little bit, and then head out and try some of the bowlers around. Yeah. We can actually see one of the bowlers from the window. It's like just outside. found another entrance this time. We're gonna go behind the wall instead of having to climb that little uh, balcony <laughs> thing. So we're gonna go down here. Should I take the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the screw sticking yeah, up. Like a 6A just getting to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna set a uh, bowler for uh, Ryan's kids. He asked me if I could do that. <laughs> So just to make sure I don't forget, I'm gonna set one now, warm up, and then we're gonna head out. Oh, it's cold down here though. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set small moves because they're small. Yeah but I'm gonna set something around maybe like 6B, 6B yep. plus, but just a lot of holes on the wall so they have a lot of possibilities. Okay, so here's my masterpiece of a bowler. I might need to put another like a couple of footholds on. If you're setting for kids, someone smaller, you want to make sure that they always have a possible way of doing it. I remember that as a kid myself, I would hate it when I felt like it was impossible for me because I was too short. Yeah. And actually another thing that I didn't mention about this wall that I really like is how stiff it is. It's like a lot of home walls and even like professional walls, they flex a lot. But this is completely like, it's so solid. It's, it's actually really hard because you need to support it with a lot of beams and stuff to, yeah. to make it really stiff. So I'll try it with the uh, approach shoes. So you start like this and then you have a few different foothold options. We need to basically make that toe hook, come into this, cross, take this, switch, turn this to a mantle, another way. Go left hand first. Uh, left hand first, the match. 
The toe hook is tricky though. Yeah. But I actually set that toe hook for a smaller person. Yeah. It's very close. Come on. Yeah. Stay tight. Yes. Oh, oh. You got it. Nice. No, you. Oh, the fast maybe, approach. Maybe that's the bit. I just that's, go fast. Yeah. The... Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's really cool. <laughs> Come on. Get your foot off. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay. One more try on yep. the kid's boulder. Well, you're pretty much a kid. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only like 10 years younger than you. Yeah. I'm 21. 21. Okay. And you're 31. I'm 31. Yeah. 21 is a good age. I wish I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting pretty old now. Yeah. <laughs> the next 40. <laughs> okay. Last try. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Really nice. Come on. Venga. Come on. Get it. Match that one. Match it. The macro? Yeah. Come on. Get tight to the wall. Oh. Yeah, it's a weird technique, yeah, wrapping volumes like that. That's such an awkward position for like getting close to the wall. Yeah. I feel like just getting ripped off. Again, the feet are pretty high, so you yeah. push yourself out of the wall. This is a kid's bowler. You're 21, man. <laughs> so for warming up, I think I'll do uh, 30 moves. Just whatever, I just count in my head. Yeah. Like one, two, three, four. And I do that times three with like four minute rest in between. Yeah, that is 90 moves in total, so that should be plenty. And on a wall like this, even if I make the moves really easy, it's still gonna be challenging. I think this will be the first time I see I see you actually warming up <laughs> <Yeah>. for <laughs> climbing. Next time you might even see me stretch. And for this I need to bring the chalk. Don't wanna risk running out of chalk halfway. Buddy fingers, not being able to hold on, my worst nightmare. really like now I feel that I haven't climbed in a while I get surprisingly pumped doing 30 moves on this wall a few minutes later What just happened? Ryan dropped the crash pad. <laughs> we actually uh, predicted it would happen because <laughs> he just like tossed it in there. <laughs> On the back so, of his pickup. Yeah. I wonder, and he didn't even notice no. that. He <laughs> dropped it and he was like continuing. <laughs> Are gonna walk into someone's property because it says private road? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all the farmers we keep uh, ask the, the guy who owns it if I could um, climb on the blocks. Yeah, he, he said, said okay. it's okay. Oh, okay. Except he's dead right now, so. He's dead right now? Yeah, yeah. Only he, he, right he, now? No, no, he, he died <laughs> last year, the guy yeah. asked. Yeah, but it's empty now then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or well, there might be some mother with a gun coming uh, out of here. <laughs> what the f you're climbing on my rock? Straight up, 7 ish Yeah. Uh, this side, something very easy. I've tried straight up and popping out on this side, yeah. traversing the block. And oh, I'm, that's cool. And I've been, uh, I've been close on it. Yeah. I, I, I didn't do it. I, I, I might remember wrong. Either I started here and climbed out of the wall. Yeah. Or I started there and traversed in. Yeah. But I did not climb the rat. Okay. Because the rats 
only the Arat would be cool as well. Yeah, yeah, start it's a very nice line. <laughs> Oh, but that's, it's hard though. It's hard. But and starting here and here. That's probably where I started. You can see I brushed, and, but I yeah. didn't get all the way up. Yeah. It's not been done, topping yeah. out this way, wherever yeah. you start. Okay. So, uh, yeah, project this side of the rock, 7A stand start there. Yeah. And here is a pretty cool slab project. Oh, yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, it's, it's a little crack. It's a crack crimping. Uh, I haven't really actually tried it, I just brushed it. Uh, when we were here once. Yeah. I think we started with a fire. Yeah. 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 I need to prep the, the bowlers because they haven't been climbing in a while. And this is kind of private property. Ryan has like special permit or something. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to advertise this place. This 7A line looks really beautiful. This project looks really beautiful and there's another project that also looks really beautiful. So this is pretty sweet. Yeah. I just need to go up in, uh, with the rope and just prep, like put some chalk on the holes to feel them out and like try to understand how to move on the rock. So this rock has been climbed before. It's been brushed with a wire brush before. Yeah. So all I need now is like a normal brush. But for some of the other bowlers that we're planning to try, we need to actually use a wire brush, steel brush, to get the, the moss off. Oh wait, I forgot the most important thing, the brush. <laughs> oh, new have uh, Bostilo. Magnus lost his brush. Oh. Merci beaucoup, uh, Amizia. Oh, now you're prepping the 7A? Yeah, this one looks really beautiful. Because you need to find the sweet spots, you know? It's not like inside when you see the color holes and you know exactly where to grab. It would have taken me a lot of tries to figure out exactly how to hold the holes if I didn't do this. But now I know that this one, I want to hold right here. Put a little tick mark. Put a little tick mark here too. All right, I think I'm ready to try it. So now that the root is all chalked up, it's time for the crash pads. Yeah, this is a bowler though, not a root. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning when you start climbing, there's so many like words and stuff yeah, that yeah, you have yeah. to get right. So this is a bowler, or is it a problem, or is it a bowler problem? Actually, Mokhti gets so annoyed whenever I correct her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, even though you're a beginner, you don't need to sound like a beginner. That's what I tell her, and then she get even more annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. <laughs> And normally someone would like spot you yeah. from behind, but now you're just gonna do without the spotting? Without spotting, yeah. yeah. The spotter's job is to make sure that you land on the pad. It's not to actually break your fall, but it's just to give you a little push in the right direction. Okay. But sometimes on some problems, a spotter is like really, really important. On this one, it looks like the fall will be pretty straight down, so I don't think you really need a spotter. Besides, we're making a vlog here. Ryan had to go back to his farm. So we're here alone again. Yeah. And we need to make the vlog, so we only have a choice. It goes to flash. Nice! Yeah. Easy. Yeah. That's really cool though. Yeah. Really nice problem. I know usually like the rules uh, in bouldering, I mean there are no rules really as long as you're honest about what you're doing. But either you start in a sit start, so whatever you can reach sitting from like one crash pad. Or it's a stand start, which means you can uh, reach as high as you can. Which is, if you're tall, it's uh, it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah or it's an established start. So you choose the two start holes you start off. Yeah. But those are like the three different ones. So this was a stand start. I think I'm just gonna try the project. Yeah. Start working that. This might rip. This is a tiny hole. 
you don't need really need much. As long as you have good feet on slabs, you don't need good handholds. I actually think there might even be a harder one on the middle of this block. So here, go to this, and then get all the way up. Maybe I'll try that later. But I'll start with this one. And they're all projects, meaning that no one's done them before. So, don't know how hard they are. This is uh, some hardcore shit. We have thrown in the air. Well, <laughs> no one is controlling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost fell. No one is controlling the drum. And I'm standing on like a ledge, <laughs> just barely. Forgot one, forgot it holds. There's a tiny little gas on with your left. Hoodie. Woo. Gold. Another fun fact actually, this is where my, my family, where my ancestors are from, Telemark, the area we're in right now. That's where uh, the last name uh, Mitzbe comes, comes from. Mitz means middle and Bö is a place here, so in the middle of Bö. So this is uh, back to the roots. I mean, maybe my great grandfather or something did this boiler. <laughs> Yeah, you have to go again and then get your foot up. That's going to be the crux, I think. Is that how you do it? I don't know, it's strange. Grabbing that undercling and going again is strange. But I think maybe. I should go again from this instead. Now I try to switch this to an undercling and then go again. I think I'm gonna go two times right and then switch it to an undercling. Get my foot up here, that's pretty high. And then go out left and then it's over. Ooh. 
这儿。I think that one doesn't look so nice from the ground. It's like kind of small and stuff, but it climbs like really well. Now I just need to get down from here. <laughs> I have no idea how to get down. I think I need to keep climb down. Really nice. Yeah, definitely. Norway is not the worst country to be stuck in. We have a lot of climbing. This one has not been climbed or tried before, so I need a, the steel brush, because there's a lot of moss on this one. The problem with this baller is going to be that the, the footholds are really bad. It's like hardly any feet. It's just just smear your way up using that crack in the edge. If this was sandstone, I wouldn't use a wire brush because I could actually improve the holds with a wire brush. Like if I brush this hold, I could probably make it into a, like a jug. And that is considered chipping. Like in southern France and stuff, there's a lot of chipping, especially from the 90s, but now no one really is chipping anymore. But there a lot of climbs also in Norway has been chipped over the years. In Norway, at least how you do it is with, either you use like a screwdriver and a hammer, or you can use even like a drill, a big machine. It's a very like controversial topic, but uh, I think the general opinion now is that no one has the right to, uh, to, to change a rock, a rock face. Uh, if you're not strong enough, you leave it for someone who is. Because I mean, the, the level is increasing all the time. So, I mean, if everyone just brings down the, the, the different climbs they find to their level, there will be nothing left for the, for the future climbers who probably will be a lot stronger than, than the climbers are today. So yeah, I feel like I explained that really bad, but I think you know what I mean. Yeah. Another cool thing about like bowlers outside, because I know that a lot of you are indoor climbers, is that when you, especially when you find a boiler like this and you do it like first ascent, you know that it's gonna be there, or hopefully it's gonna be there forever. And you also get to name it and grade it. And then people can come afterwards and, and uh, downgrade it or upgrade it if they don't think the grade is right. Or they can suggest a new grade. about like technique and trusting your feet. It's everything that I'm not good at. Nice, Magnus! That one is 
actually not so bad. It's not too hard. Some behind the scenes oh. action for you. Do you prefer uh, filming inside or outside? <laughs> Definitely inside. <laughs> oh. But like brushing boilers like this is also a way to contribute. I remember especially before, people would get a lot of shit if they only did established boilers and didn't brush anything themselves. Like brushing a boiler is obviously quite a lot of work, but it's a way of giving back and it's also a way of doing first ascents. So honestly, I don't think it's that much work. I think it's kind of fun to see what's underneath the moss. Because you don't know, like this boiler looked like it'd be pretty easy, but now I see that the holes are not as big as I thought they'd be in. It's actually gonna be pretty hard. So this is a pretty nice bowler, it's a nice line. That, that's the most important thing. If you need to make too many rules on a bowler, it becomes less fun, I think. If it's a straight line and it's the easiest way up that bowler is the bowler, then it's a, it's a nice line. And this, I think, is a very nice line. There's no way of cheating it. It's just like straight up. There's no like defined start or anything. You can start wherever you want. You jump to a jug and you continue climbing. And I think we have a second, there's a second version of this bowler uh, going a little bit to the right. But then the landing is not going to be perfect. Sometimes though, if there's like rocks underneath, you need to make a landing. So you have to build it, you have to first make it flat and then you put the mats on top. What call man steiner på engelsk? Det er ofte sånn at du må bygge landinger med liksom planker og sånt. Ok, I'll guess how hard this left one is first. I think 60 plus. But I could be completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gift for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's my, it might be a little bit harder than we thought. I think it's harder than 60 plus. Yeah. But now, even though I brushed it, there's still a little bit of sand on the holes. So you tend to, it's like you're rolling off the hole a little bit. Yeah. But it looks really nice though. It's really cool. Yeah. I, this is, I think, almost my favorite boulder. Good man. Nice! Woo. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow. I don't know, it might be 60, 60 plus actually. Yeah. I think it was just hard because the first, it was a little bit sand on the hole the first time. That's really, really nice. And there are some nice uh, websites for this kind of stuff. There's Vertical Life and there's 27 Crags where you can like log the boulders that you do. You yeah. can take a picture, you can make like a line up it uh, and you can put in the GPS coordinates. If you want to do that, you have to go all the way right hand. That's a big throw. Another thing, you have to make sure that you're not climbing on someone's private property. And the rules are different in, in every country. In Norway, we have something called Inmark and Utmark. So there's private land and there's just land for everyone. If it's private land, you should ask the, the landowner for, uh, for permission, like Reinhard here. So that's important. What else is important if you want to like find your own bowlers? 
can't think of much else. I mean, there aren't many rules. No. A little bowler rope like this is really beneficial. Yeah. Or a ladder, you need to clean the bowlers before you start. You could try it from the ground up every time, but I think it's better to prep the bowler and then start trying it. Maybe you should even wear glasses. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff in your eyes. Intimidating, going for it. Yeah. Because you're gonna be spit back if you if you fall. Because the ball was at too far for you. That was just scary. Yeah. But I find it like the, the pinch was good. That was the beta. All right, goodbye, bowler. I'm probably never gonna see this bowler again. No. But it's kind of cool though. You did like five first ascents. Uh, you did two, two on, on this boulder and, and two on the other one. Yeah, four. Four. Uh, yeah. four. So that's good in a day. Yeah. And also cleaning them. I don't know when this will be climbed again. Probably Rain and the kids yeah. uh, and stuff will climb it. But I don't know. It's something that's going to be there forever. You know, it's like a statue. Pretty cool. And we have a lot of bouldering in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of other countries are not as fortunate. It's not like you can just go outside and find like a big boulder. <laughs> but in Norway, they're everywhere. Should we do more bouldering or should we head back? I think uh, Ryan told us about one boulder that's... Yeah, the one in the, by the lake. Yeah, by the lake. Yeah, we could go check that out. Yeah. It's getting dark, but we can check it out. Should we? Yeah. Yeah. Another tip if you want to brush bowlers is to wear uh, gloves. You see the hands? Oh, Jesus. Pretty bloody. Yeah. And the other one too. But the thing is when you do this yeah. all the time, if you if your knuckles hit the rock, there's blood. <laughs> It's not as nice as I thought it'd be. We passed this the other day and we thought it looked really nice because you see the view is really nice, but I don't know, the climbing doesn't look that nice. And actually there are bolts on the, on the rock. Should we just call it a day? Yeah, it doesn't look hard enough for... It doesn't look that hard. Yeah. I think, I mean, that's all you need to know to climb outside or to find bowlers outside. Uh, just try to be respectful. And if you have any further questions, you should leave it down in the comments. I'm not that good at answering comments, but you can try. Maybe someone else will answer them or I'll try to answer. I'm usually pretty active the first like hour. Yeah, so make sure to like and subscribe as always. That really helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I guess uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.